Hi, hello, and welcome back again. Today, we're continuing our Bruce Dickinson series. We have Vanessa, Tavi, and Clay with us today, and we're going to rank uh, and actually just pick a top 10, top 10 songs by Bruce Dickinson, and uh, we're going to talk a bit about it and see which songs do we have in common as well. So we're going to kick things off with our dear Canadian friend, Vanessa. All right, so I'm going to start with my number 10, which is Tyranny of Souls, the title track from Tyranny of Souls. Uh, catchy soaring chorus, like the guitar on the chorus is like a little kind of in the background there that's kind of cool. The verses have like an intriguing darkness to them, which work well with that chorus. So it's my number 10. Number nine is Shadow of the Gods from the Mandrake Project, um, a standout on the new album, an emotional and epic song, which switches up from ballad to heavy with ease. It's that mid-tempo thing that he excels at. Um, number eight is Star Children from Accident of Birth, a great heavy song that sounded like a breath of fresh air when I was going through the albums. It has a very catchy chorus, like which most of his great songs do. Number seven is abduction from tyranny of souls i like how it starts off heavy and energetic with a great riff nice switch up to the melodic chorus and it has a really cool guitar solo which is something you can say for a lot of songs of his but i like that one on there um number six is the tower from the chemical wedding opens with a great bass groove and i like the melodic chorus like it's just one that speaks to me i don't have a lot to say about it but it's a great song Number five is King in Crimson from The Chemical Wedding. Catchy and the perfect amount of heavy, perfect opener from the album, but also a great song on its own. Great chorus. Uh, number four is Tears of the Dragon, actually, from Balls to Picasso, which is my only representation of the early part of his career. An early indication of the direction that he would go on later in his solo career. Easy standout on the album that it's on. And he is just great at this kind of song. Number three is Kill Devil Hill from Tyranny of Souls. Great symphonic and epic build up to the chorus, juxtaposed with the heavier verses. I think this just works really well. Number two is Omega from Accident of Birth. Starts off as a nice ballad, but really builds into an epic as it goes on, which I think is really cool. The switch up after the first guitar solo is really cool and a bit unexpected. I love all the twists and turns that it takes feels like a closer but it's not as we've said in the album's video but great on its own and number one is book of cell from the chemical wedding i like how it starts off really energetic and heavy with an epic and melodic chorus the song takes you on a journey with lots of twists and turns and i am all for it well that's a really nice list and uh, looking at the list i see a bunch of songs from tyranny of souls which only get 3.5 from you, if I recall. And yes. you have like three songs from Tyranny yeah. of Souls. Yeah. Well, that's the funny thing about Tyranny of Souls. I, <laughs> the stuff I really liked, I really liked, but then there was the rest of it just didn't, I don't know. Maybe maybe it should be a four. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe we'll maybe see. it should. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Tavi, your turn. Oh, it's me. Sorry. Sorry, I thought it was clear. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> number 10 is going to be from Tyranny of Souls, uh, Navigate the Seas of the Sun. And oh, yeah, uh, it's an easy, he sort of picked for me are this kind of power pilot type of metal songs. But um, I guess this doesn't have as much power as some other songs, it's more. Um, more somber maybe and doesn't go really big as some other songs but I kind of also enjoy it because of that because well most Bruce songs do go big at some point and you don't always have to um, and number nine is from the newest album uh, Fingers in the Wounds and <clears throat> Maybe this has a little bit similar feel to the previous one, although it's a bit shorter and more piano driven than the other song. It was more like guitar and 
and it, well, this does go bigger with the chorus, and but yeah, it's just very melodic and enjoy it a lot. And next one is from Balls to Picasso, um, Gods of War, which is a to me a pretty cool song, and love the more tribal type of uh play the drums and uh cool riffs and yeah uh sort of sort of um and number seven is king in crimson from the chemical wedding album the opener and it's a damn epic riff in this one just so heavy as heck and just cool verses and uh yeah love the love the uh chorus too and solos and yeah just a lot of a lot of coolness to it and then uh from album that wasn't too high on my list from skunk works i have inside the machine it's to me it's one of the catchiest songs and uh like I was just listening to it again and I was like, yeah, this is super catchy and I would totally put this on and maybe we sh show it to some that wouldn't be maybe on a metal fan that I think this would be a cool way. So this type of music, even if this is not totally metal, maybe, maybe more like hard rock influenced. And... um Number five is from Accident of Birth. It's the uh, Dark Side Aquarius. Oh no. <laughs> awesome playing in this one. Um, especially by the rhythm section. I really love the bass and drums on this one. And well, most of these albums did have pretty cool uh, rhythm sections to them. And, yeah, it's uh, six, almost seven minutes that just goes by well, and uh, you're in a good time there. And number four is a song that I hope is on Clay's list, because it's from Tattooed Millionaire, and it's the title song, which I feel like is the most 80s song here, and uh, like a really fun rocker. And that guitar riff is maybe more like ACDC or maybe Def Leppard, I don't know, but um, just super fun and catchy and like, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, uh, sadly the album after a few opening songs were not to the same level for me, but this definitely was. And number three. <clears throat> Is from the Chemical Wedding. It's Trumpets of Jericho. It's is a six-minute song that just flows by very well, and it's just uh, love all the parts to it, and it's just uh, I don't know. It just feels very maiden to me, and uh, it's just a cool song. And uh, number two from Accident of Birth. Uh, Man of Sorrows, and I love the um, piano in it, and love the vocals a lot from Bruce, and the, how it uh, flows, and how the song goes by, and how it, well, the chorus is just fabulous to me. But, uh, yeah, my number one is, well, we all know it. It's Tears of the Dragon. Uh, easy pick for me. Uh, song that I knew the most. And uh, even after, even before we um, decided to do this, I think, I don't know how did, maybe my brother randomly put it on or something. And then I just remembered the song from all those years. That I somehow for forgot about the song a little bit. Um, it's just so epic. I love the acoustic guitar. If it's acoustic guitar, I just assumed maybe, but and it's 
just beautiful and it's kind of mystical and I love the lyrics and yeah and the solos and oh yeah so good so good yeah that's my top 10 songs um uh, is clay next you, you can talk now i am yep <laughs> Um, I have a couple in common with you, Tavi. I think I have a little bit more in common with Vanessa, but um, we'll see. Uh, number 10, I have Omega from Accident at Birth. Um, very majestic. Uh, one of my favorite Bruce Dickinson vocal performances, maybe ever. Um, very good song. Uh, number nine, I have Space Race from Skunk Works. It's just a fun alternative rock sounding song. I think it has a cool message. Um, just very cool. Um, number eight is from Chemical Wedding. I have Book of Thel. Uh, just a cool, almost progressive sounding song. Um, some killer drumming. It's just, there's a lot of moving parts to it that I really like. Um, number seven, if I can find it, is Kill Devil Hill um, from Tyranny at Birth. Uh, just another dynamic tune. Um <laughs> it's 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 good it's good it's it's just a cool dynamic tune um did i say something i don't know <laughs> yeah you did tyranny of birth, birth. Uh, tyranny tyranny of uh souls i think something like that i don't know tyranny <laughs> oh my god uh yeah number six um one i have in common with tavi uh the only one from picasso it's tears of the dragon just a big epic closer, uh, very good, um, definitely on repeat for me. Uh, number five is Tattooed Millionaire, um, just a very fun song, memorable sing-along chorus. Um, the drumming is very 80s, like Tavi said, there's some ACDC vibes, just very fun. Um, number four is from The Chemical Wedding, it's the title track, The Chemical Wedding. Um, just a cool melodic tune. I think it fits the themes of the album perfectly. Um, very good. And number three is Man of Sorrows from Accident at Birth, not Tyranny at Birth. <laughs> a grand cinematic song. Um, my favorite on the album. Just very good. Number two is something that I'm a little ashamed to admit because I, I really overlooked this song at first. It does not sound like Creed. It's Jerusalem. Just a perfect, epic, and anthemic song. It's incredible. And then also from The Chemical Wedding, my number one is The Alchemist. Just amazing, epic, soaring song. Beautiful. Uh, and I believe this was actually in my top 25 songs of 1998 initially. Um, I thought it was Jerusalem, but it's actually this one, so... Uh, yeah, those are my top 10. Good variety. Yeah, I, I can yeah. definitely say that with all of your lists, uh, really interesting. And we have lots of com a lot of common songs on each list. But there is one song that none of you had. And I expected that <laughs> none of you will have it because it is not on any album you listen to. So <laughs> I'll have it and I will recommend you listen to that one as well and you'll see why and because that's my number 10 that is silver wings from the best of record from 2001 so this is a song after he uh, joined iron maiden and when you hear that song it is really fast it is heavy and it's really melodic similar to wicker man from brave new world and it has a very maiden-esque vibe to it and i will do recommend you listen to it and it's about planes i mean bruce loves planes he you know he is a pilot and so his passion number nine uh, none of you had this one but uh, it is from skunk works it is you already maybe guessed it's inertia i do really love how this song uh the verses uh, how he sings and um uh, it kind of explodes and changes there are some bunch of things happening on in this song and it's it's a bit longer side maybe for Bruce on this album but I do really appreciate it and always loved especially the beginning part uh, Kill Devil Hill is my number 8 we almost all I mean Clay had it Vanessa had it Kill Devil Hill is an epic track when I heard this album first back in the day in 2005 
this was my favorite song of uh, Tyranny of Souls. Number seven is, again, from Tyranny of Souls, the title track, the closing track. Always love that one. I love the lyrics. Uh, it references Macbeth. So it has cool vibe to it. The atmosphere on it is really interesting. It's dark. And uh, the chorus as well is, like always, almost always, with Bruce is great. Number six, Clay and Vanessa had this one. And uh, it is, I do love this complex, more proggy songs in a way. So my number six is Book of Tell from Chemical Wedding. Great song. Uh, it's shifting. It is changing. You know, it's a longer song, but it's really interesting. And that's the point. If you want to make a long song in heavy metal, you have to do it like this. I mean, Maiden nowadays likes to, you know, prolong their, their songs to last for 10, 15 minutes. But not every time that works. So you have to make it interesting. And I do believe Book of Tell is like that. Number five, uh, in a similar fashion, from Accident of Birth, I have Dark Side of Aquarius, another complex, more proggier song. Uh, it's also pretty heavy as well. Interesting lyrics. And it I do believe it's going to be great live. I hope he's going to play Dark Side of Aquarius live when I see him in June. So fingers crossed. Uh, number four, I have my favorite Creed song of all time. Uh, Jerusalem. <laughs> I really do love how. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is fantastic song. I mean, it, it, the lyrics are great. Uh, the overall atmosphere, it's really medieval. Like, I mean, it's talking about Jerusalem and um, England. And um, I do think Bruce really sells in the way he sings this song quite nicely. Number three from Chemical Wedding, again, uh, I have The Tower. Uh, I do like the bass groove in the beginning of the song, and uh, the overall production of this song is really nice. The bass is prominent, obviously. The chorus is really catchy and interesting. Number two, I have from Accident of Birth, another more uh, dynamic song, Omega, like Vanessa and Clayton had. Um, I like that dynamic change with you know starting off as a slower ballad type of song then kind of shifts to a more aggressive heavier song uh likely said uh bruce vocal performance on this song is really really good and emotional and it really sells you, you know, i mean the lyrics and everything great stuff and my favorite song by bruce is from chemical wedding the song chemical wedding and it was always my favorite song by Bruce and it never gets old. Uh, that chorus is really epic and catchy. And, you know, as I can sing it in my head right now, I do like that Clay has Alchemist as his number one because they kind of, um, you know, reinterpret the, the song Chemical Wedding into Alchemist, a little altered version of that chorus and it, i think it's a perfect way to close the album as well with the alchemy so nice choice clay i do like that song but i do prefer my chemical wedding it's on on point it's short uh, and it's really catchy so yeah that's gonna be my top 10 songs and i do like all of your lists and uh, i hope you enjoyed at least some of it and i think you did you have anything more to say about Bruce and some closing remarks? Good list, good list. I'm glad Tavi and I have Attitude Millionaire. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess oh, yeah. somebody had to represent that album. <laughs> yeah, I was close. I was close. I uh, I do really love Son of a Gun, and it's somewhere in my top 15, 20 songs of him, of his. And it was close for me to put Son of a Gun. I do think that song is the only. I mean, Tattooed Millionaire. I get it why you two like it. I mean, it is what it is. It is a nice, catchy '80s hard rock song with a nice chorus. But I think Son of a Gun is much more interesting. But that just me. But overall, I really appreciate your list. Yeah. The really nice variety on them. 
different albums. I knew Tavi's favorite was going to be Tears of a Dragon. That's, I mean, I do like that song, but I heard it so many times and I cannot put it in top 10 anymore. <laughs> but I know he's going to play that yeah, one sure. live for sure. And... Mm. Yeah. I, I was certain Clay is gonna drop dive dive dive. Yeah, so when yeah. he said when when he said I, the thing about um, being embarrassed or whatever, I was yeah, like, oh my god! So Here no. we go! Here we go! Dive dive dive! Top twenty for sure, though. <laughs> From oh, the yeah. bottom, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this was really interesting. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming, and I'm gonna link. So I'm forgot to mention but Vanessa has her own channel let it be I'm gonna link it down below Tavi as well and we have Clay as well with his movies channel Deep Focus so we're gonna link those as well if you, to check them out they have their own thing going on so thank you again for watching thank you guys for being here and uh, I wish you all a great day and see you in the next one <laughs>